Chacho Tony Allen here at the Long Island Budokai and Humble Dojo of North American Bube Society. This is the next tape in our video that we're doing on the series of the uh, wep uh, defensive weapons of the samurai of ancient Japan. The topic I would like to discuss tonight is the Naginata and Naginata Jitsu as we do it in our lineage of the Ogawa Rayuha. The Naginata is one of several uh, varieties of traditional Japanese sword known as Nihon To, but in the form of a pole weapon. The Naginata was originally used by the samurai class, as well as by the Ashigaru, the foot soldiers, and also the Sohei, known as warrior monks. The Naginata was used as a weapon during the Nara period from 600 to 704, uh, from the time of the Emperor Shamu. The word Naginata was first recorded in the Koji Kai, the ancient Japanese chronicles. There are also records of the Naginata being used by foot soldiers in the year three of the Yosu documents. The Naginata is made up of a two to three yard shaft of hard wood where the blade at the end could be either 12 to 24 inches long and as sharp as a katana or a sword. The Naginata can be used for sticking, for slashing, for blocking, for parrying and cutting using a tremendous amount of circular moves. In the battlefield, the Naginata was involved in circular sweeping movements calculated by centrifugal force. The weapon was used for slicing Achilles tendons of horses to drop the samurai down. It could be used to work against the samurai. Because of the length of the Naginata, we know that it gives us a lot of safety uh, from the opportunity of being cut by the samurai. The circular movements that were used by centrifugal force gave it great momentum uh, and allowed it to be a very, very, very strong weapon against either a footman or a horseman. Keeping this in mind, we're going to take a look at a couple of techniques now that we use in our lineage and uh, take a look at Ogawa Ryuha's Naginata Jitsu. Thank you.